Hey friends and welcome back today. I'm so excited to share with you these DIY Dollar Tree yard candles. So I am taking these two pool noodles and I'm using this cutting board that I made in another DIY and I will link that for you too if you wanna see how I made that Dollar Tree cutting board into this fancy Dollar Tree cutting board. And I'm taking these two pool noodles from Dollar Tree and I am just cutting them in half. The best way I found is to use kind of a bread knife and just kind of saw your way through it and they cut right in half. So I'm just folding them in half and then sawing them in half with this knife and they cut right in half. And I have two pool noodles because I am making four yard candles. And I'm just kind of like stretching them out too. You can see that one, my kids got a hold of them and played with them before I got to my project. So it's got some dents and stuff in it, but that's not the quality of the product. It's just my kids quality of my kids I guess <laughs> so I'm just cutting each one in half and now I have four candles and next I'm going to take this construction paper that I also got at Dollar Tree and I just need the yellow and for four candles I use about half a sheet of yellow paper and this pack has three sheets of yellow in it so keep that in mind if you are planning to make like lots and lots of these I got about Four, you could probably get like 10 candle flames out of one sheet, I would say. So, and then there's three in the pack. So, you know, math away for how many you need. So I am just cutting out these flames and I'm making sure that I'm adding kind of a tail to the bottom of the flame so that I can tuck it into the top of the pool noodle here. I'm trying a different way of filming as opposed to the overhead shots and I cut my total top off of the video so I'm sorry about that but just work with me while I figure out this new situation. So again I'm just cutting this flame. If you wanted to you could look up like a flame template if you wanted to trace out the flame before you cut it but I just kind of went with it and I wanted all of my flames to be a little bit different so I just kind of winged it each time I cut a flame and I'm just pulling the sticker off of the Dollar Tree noodle which wasn't super difficult but it ripped in half and I had to fight with it but in the end it came off and it was fine. <laughs> And I would say that kind of tail that I'm putting on the, the flames, the bottom, is probably about an inch. It doesn't have to be very big. If you wanted to, you could put some tape inside and tape the flame if you knew that they were going to be out for a while. I also thought, too, you could probably laminate them if you wanted them to stay outside and kind of weather the elements a little bit, even if you just took some of the, like, clear packaging tape that they have at Dollar Tree taped over both sides of it and trimmed around it. It might help hold up against the elements, but I have a feeling that this construction paper is not acid free and will probably fade with the sun. So keep that in mind if you are trying to keep them out for an extended, like multiple days. So again, I'm just tucking that flame into it. I thought they looked really cute when I pushed the actual flame part down in. It kind of curled them around the pool noodle a little bit and I liked the way that looked. So next, I'm just taking these craft dowels that I also found at Dollar Tree and I am going to pull out four of them so I can go and put these four birthday candles in our yard. So I am taking my dowel and I'm just kind of sticking it into the yard. I didn't even go halfway down the dowel. It didn't need to go in very much at all, maybe about like two, three inches. And then I am taking my pool noodle 
and setting that right on top of the dowel. And you can see it stands up perfectly right there, just like a little yard candle. <laughs> And then I put all four in and had Erin pretend it was her birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> I just think these turned out so cute. I really wish I would have thought of this project while we had my son's birthday in quarantine. I think it's something special that you can do since we can't really get together and all celebrate right now. It's something you could do to your yard to celebrate somebody's or to surprise somebody who's having a birthday who you can't physically go see. I just thought this was such a cute idea and totally adorable. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, you can find more from us here. Make sure you subscribe so you can follow all of our adventures. Give it a big thumbs up, tap that bell, and let me know down in the comments if you've celebrated a birthday during these quarantine times. <laughs> Bye guys.